Good afternoon, everyone. As Hurricane Willa rolled over Mexico, Category 5 Typhoon U2 expected to roll over Guam and right into Asia. Media will have you believe it's the most Category 5s in a typhoon season ever. Just not true. Reunion Island, media claims it's the hottest month in September ever. Well, they just need to actually check their own climate records. Global temperatures down, down, down. Look at the hail cleanup in Rome after the massive front rolled through and some beautiful memes coming out with Jack and Rose. And you see that orange right in the middle of the map? Over Italy and Slovenia, five feet of snow on tap. And how prepared are you for emergency food? Teamed up with My Patriot Supply to bring you a range of long-term food storage, emergency food. You can find that link in the description box below with my own page at My Patriot Supply, as well as links to Mini Ice Age Conversations, episode number 123, How the Global Media Warned You to Prepare for Rising Food Prices. And all the links for tonight's stories and images are in the description box as well. Hurricane Willa made landfall Category 3 over Mexico, but this rapidly intensifying typhoon U2, 155 knots, about 175 miles per hour, Category 5, going to roll right over Guam and possibly Saipan. Incredible images here. That is going to continue straight into Asia, either right over to Taiwan, southern Japan, or into China. Now, the news media is hopping all over these storms, saying it's proof that global warming, it's the hottest year ever, it's the most storms ever. Category 5s globally are up, but not really when you start to take a look. Weather Underground put together this great chart here. Category 5, looks like 1996, 97, 13 of those storms, we're still around 9. Add 10 with this new Typhoon U2. Still have three Category 5s to go to reach that mark, not even close. I'm predicting that won't happen this year. But the news will have you believe it is. So please do your own research. Now staying in the warm oceans, let's go down to Reunion Island off of Madagascar. Touted as the month of September. Remember, it's in the southern hemisphere, so they're going into spring right now. It's the hottest spring measurement since records began in 1968. Month of September, baking. Oh, all they have to do is really go to their climate records at uh, Climatology. For Reunion Island and monthly average temperatures, number two, September 2018. wonder how they didn't catch that. And to look at the all-time record highs for the month, huh, even the highest temperature for the entire month of September was still third on the list. 1974, 1991 temperatures still beat that. I wonder how they missed that as well. Hottest for the entire day, well, it's still second, September 23rd. And looking over here, well, I just don't know how they missed that huge heat spike over to the left there at 1973. Wow. I think they need glasses or something. Reading glasses? Send them to Matteo France so they can read the charts and put out better data sets. And you notice that incredible cold anomaly. I wonder how that would affect monthly temperatures as well being almost 20 degrees Celsius below the normal on the 23rd of September. Also talking about global temperatures, I was sent an advanced copy of an open letter to the world on climate change from Ronald Davison. I pulled one graphic out of there. Excellent read on the way. Global temperatures down, down, down. Yet somehow they're still telling us it's the warmest ever. And one place that we can talk about ice, Rome, the day after this severe hailstorm. Do you realize that is a person walking in the center of the picture, and that ice is about six feet deep piled up on the side of the streets? This was a once-in-a-lifetime or once-in-a-generation, multi-generation event. It was so intense with the flooding and ice floating through that they were equating it with icebergs in the North Atlantic. Incredible meme here. When I saw this, I had to laugh. I thought it would bring it to you a moment of joy as our weather patterns across the planet shift. And speaking of shifting, oh, look at these Arctic vortices already going to pummel North Africa. Weather City is putting out the forecast here. And along with the front and the drop in temperatures, 
leaving the area at least 20 degrees Celsius below normal, snow is going to accompany this event. How much snow? It's really difficult to see these small charts here, so I want to wide that out for you. 28th, they're looking at around eh, three and a half to four feet. 30th, that orange in the center is five feet. So we're supposed to believe that in October, getting five feet in a snowstorm is just a normal thing in the hottest year ever on this planet. But I could believe that an intensifying grand solar minimum could cause this very same effect. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. During times like these, you're definitely going to have to do some of your own research. And I'm hoping I can add to the discussion with Mini Ice Age Conversations podcast. I'm covering a range of issues there in this last one about the global media warning you for rising food prices. That should shake you awake in and of itself.